Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Amara Andrew and today I'm going to show you how to package your stickers for less than a dollar. As I mentioned in my sticker video, I showed you how I make my stickers in the best, most economical way possible. So today I'm going to show you some of the like methods, tips, tricks, tools, uh, general paper paraphernalia, I guess, <laughs> that I have um, found in my research while trying to figure out like the best, most economical way to get my stickers to people. I'm linking uh, everything that I talk about in the description below so then you can just find it super easily. I'm going to be really honest with you, for my first couple of sales on Etsy, uh, my packaging was not very pretty. <laughs> Basically what I did was I took a cardboard box just like this and chopped it up into little squares, taped those squares together like a little sandwich. Not the best method to do and cardboard is I guess not surprisingly, but it was a little surprising to me just how heavy it was. Um, as I'm trying to send this through USPS, just standard letter mail, so I was blowing through stamps, so I figured I needed a much better way to do this. Because of that, I got my ass into Adobe Illustrator and just started designing my own little inserts, and I made these. So for these, um, I just use brown craft uh, cardstock paper. This is the cardstock that I use. Link. And like I said, linked below. This comes as a pack of 50, so you can see plenty of paper. Um, it's a nice thick cardstock. It roughly comes down to about 18 cents a page, give or take. Um, but I can get about six different little packaging things on here, so it's like four cents, three cents, something like that. So it's super affordable and economic, and then you don't have to pay somebody to make your packaging for you. Honestly, just hop on Illustrator, grab some cardstock, and make your own little inserts. So like I said, this was meant to replace the cardboard so that you don't have this big bulky thing. Um, it's not, obviously, it's not like super uh, heavy duty and sturdy, but it actually is like a nice thick weight without adding a ton of weight. Wait, without adding a ton of weight. It is like a nice durable heft to it without adding a ton of weight to your package so then you don't have to add more stamps. These little buggers go in these. So these are just um, three by five clear self-seal bags. You get a pack of 200, which is awesome. And then this is what they look like. So just nice and simple. Um, so then you have the little opening here that you just slide that into. And then this little part up here so you peel that off and then it's all sticky, so then you can stick it to itself. So then you fold it down like that and voila, nice and stuck. So then these just fit right in here. And then look, you have a nice little like to-go package for your stickers. You just like drop in your little stickers. So that's one of my little team spirit ones. And then, oh, hello there. And then also just one of these can, uh-oh. so embarrassing okay so as you can tell I haven't sold one of my round stickers since I figured out my packaging so wow probably should have gone through that before but that's okay now you get to see how I'm figuring it out Could you imagine just sending this to somebody like this like here you go oh, it kind of looks like a little ice cream cone um I didn't lick it I promise so I guess this video is taking a little bit of a turn now because I need to figure out some different packaging. <laughs> Let me grab my laptop and we'll get right back to ya. Okay, so I'm going to Amazon right now. So I'm just gonna find where I got my little cellophane baggies in the first place and then like go from there. <laughs> cellophane. Let's see. Oh, perfect. That was so easy. Okay, so six by nine. Oh, that's weird. Those are the bigger ones. Oh my gosh, I'm such a ding dong. I have another set of cellophane bags that I use for like greeting cards and stuff. These are the other baggies, which are insanely large. Like you're supposed to put the card in them, which is why I don't want to use these. I just want to get a slightly larger version of these. So, okay. Spartan Industrial. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Whew. I got so scared. I seriously thought they stopped selling those. I was like, no. Okay. Three by five, four by six. So I know that my little circles are three and a quarter inch measurement. So I think a four by six will be perfect. I will just buy that now. Please order. Okay, crisis averted. 
Now I'm gonna need to figure out how to do these in a different way for my four by six, but we will discuss that later. Anywho, I love these little baggies for smaller stickers. <laughs> and the nice thing about these little baggies is they're resealable. So if you kind of mess up or like you don't get the edges just perfectly, or you need to add something else to the order that maybe you forgot, you can open it and reseal it and it doesn't look weird or janky or anything. So I forgot to mention these baggies are about four cents a bag, which is super awesome. But I try to not use too much stuff when I'm packaging my orders. Um, like I love tissue paper and I love the whole razzle dazzle, but you don't need it, it's unnecessary, and you're just making more stuff to end up in landfills or just in the ocean or wherever it will end up. So I just, I have, I know it's not the best, but I have a little plastic baggie that hopefully people can reuse because it's resealable. Next, what I like to do is after I have my little sticker order all packaged up, I like to include a thank you card, just to, um, a handwritten thank you card just to thank the person for their purchase, for supporting my shop, and just for, I don't know, taking the time to look at my stuff. So I use uh, International Paper Spring Hill <laughs> Digital. So this is just letter size cardstock. There are 250 sheets in this package. And what I do for my little thank you cards, oh, these are them. So this is literally just one quarter of this page. So I can get four uh, cards out of this single sheet, which is super awesome. And that literally comes out to like about one cent per thank you card. So I have my little thank you card and then I have these envelopes. The awesome thing about these is that they're self-sealed. So you just like take off these little strips and then there's uh, like a glueish kind of adhesive um, on this. And then you can just press it down and it's like ready to go. So really nice. Um, and these are actually pretty good quality, but it's about like 16 cents an envelope. So. We have our envelope, we have our order, and then we have our thank you note. When I'm packaging an order, so I put the stickers in there first, and then my thank you note, which is obviously filled out for a real order. And then I put that in there first because I want people to see the thank you before just getting their stuff. Cause I, I really want people to know how much I actually appreciate them and their support and everything. So I want that to be like the first little fun thing that you see. Then I take off the little stickies and then seal it up and ready to go. Now, the most expensive part of my whole process are the stamps. Stamps are like ridiculously expensive now. I guess it's not that bad, um, but I think they're 50 cents or 55 cents. They're honestly the most expensive part of my whole packaging. <laughs> Typically my um, envelope with a couple stickers, maybe three or four, comes out to about one ounce in weight, which is really awesome. Um, and all my packaging, I make sure it's very nice and lightweight. So one ounce. Sometimes though, if people order a lot of stickers or if I'm including, I don't know, something else in it, um, I need additional stamps. If I don't want to have to use an additional full stamp, then I just add on one of these little additional ounces, which is only 15 cents versus 55 per stamp. So something to keep in mind when you're doing your own packaging. All in with the brown craft paper, which I said makes about four to six of these little inserts for this three by five, this cellophane bag, which is reusable, this brown craft paper envelope, and the cardstock for my little thank you notes. Oh, and <laughs> the stamp all in under a dollar. Boom. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And then that way you can keep your Etsy shop super lean. You don't have to spend a ton of money to send off your stuff. You don't have to worry about excess papers and things like that. Like it's literally just like these three items in there. And Honestly, it didn't really take that long to do the design work either. Um, you can look online for inspiration, obviously, and just kind of figure out what you want your look to be. Like I said, everything is linked in the description below. If you have a different way that you package your stickers, how do you do it? Like, let me know in the comments below. Or is there something that maybe you are still curious about that I didn't address? Um, please let me know. I'll definitely make another video about it. Like I said, you can go check out my How I Make My Stickers video. It's just straight to the point, very lean, just like my packaging. So you don't come up with a lot of excess uh, waste or cost. Comment below, um, subscribe to my channel so then you can hear all my other sticker updates or check out my art history mocktails um, or see whatever else I come up with. That'll do it for me in this video, but I will see you at some other point in the future. Okay, bye.